Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back, ladies and gents, for another YouTube video. In this video, we are going to be giving you a Chainlink update. Now, you are all probably noticing, um, certainly if you watch the markets regularly, a sell-off take place. However, at this current period, I have never been so bullish on Chainlink in my entire life. We're going to get into why that is in this video. Of course, we're going to take a look at where Chainlink is today. We're going to look at the chart. I'm going to show you a pattern that Chainlink just keep, seems to continually be repeating. We're, of course, going to take a look at the overall market. We're going to take a look at Bitcoin. As we all know, everything follows Bitcoin. Bitcoin has nearly a trillion in terms of market cap. Chainlink only has $13.5 billion in terms of market cap. So it is still very small in comparison with its bigger brother, Bitcoin. However, I want to be sharing with you some news that has broke. We're going to play a clip of Sergey uh, Nazarov talking about um, Chainlink uh, 2.0. And not only Chainlink 2.0, but the future of DeFi and where he sees DeFi going. He sees DeFi accruing a $600 billion value um, in the next year. And really, we're going to be discussing what this means for Chainlink and why you should be exceptionally bullish. And it's important that I get on here and give you guys updates when the market is selling off and not sort of hide away. Because a lot of people who are new to this space would have perhaps put money into this project not knowing what it is, or perhaps, you know, haven't been here for a while and not uh, experienced a sell-off before, a pullback before. Guys, this is absolutely normal behavior, what we are seeing. Chainlink seems to kind of um, reenact this pattern. And I think we are going to do a similar thing today. You can see it just seems to continually make this kind of W structure. And I think something like that is going to be similar. Uh, I think I think this is going to how we are we are, we are going to play out into the future in a similar fashion, guys. And I think ultimately, Chainlink, we've given price predictions from around about $365 to $375. Chainlink could perhaps reach by the end of this year, guys. So without further ado, we've took a quick look at the chart of Chainlink. We have, of course, sold off, guys. Um, I don't want to go too technical in this video. What I really want to focus on is the actual fundamentals of this project and what's to come for it and why you should all be exceptionally bullish. Now, what is Chainlink? For those of you who are new, let's take a quick look before I continue of where the price of Chainlink is today. It's currently sat at $32.46. It's down around about 1% on the daily and down a whopping 22.9% on the weekly and has a market cap of only $13.5 billion. Remember, Doge coin got to 50 billion dollars a coin like Chainlink, which has uh a f extreme use case in this space you know it's very very valuable in terms of its usability is only at 13.5 billion dollars guys that really highlights to you just how it's one highlighting factor of how undervalued this is Chainlink essentially is the reason the entire DeFi space exists a lot of DeFi uh blockchains have an inherent um problem uh well DeFi applications have an inherent problem and that is they can only get on-chain data and not access to off-chain data what Chainlink essentially does is, is is that bridge to the real world which allows these projects to execute um you know there's a lot of talk about uh, insurance becoming a a DeFi kind of space and we're really going to get into that in this video hybrid smart contracts will change DeFi, and the world says ceo of Chainlink. When the financial system fails, again, DeFi should be prepared to rebuild it from the ground up. So what he's talking about here, and it's one thing that I bring up regularly on this channel, is the failures of the already existing financial system. For example, he believes that we are going to have a crash similar to 2008 at some point, given the kind of macro environment of the world right now. And essentially, he reckons that DeFi is going to, after that crash, step in uh, and play a big role. And I could absolutely see this happen. And the reason being is because um, when we think of the sort of traditional financial uh, environment, it is very trust-based. And there are a number of indicators to suggest, certainly in 2008, that the people we indeed trust with one of the most important fundamental things to society, finance, isn't really uh they're not that trustworthy we certainly saw that in 2008 and that is why perhaps a decentralized um system such as DeFi and Chainlink and the whole ecosystem that that is it all ha it has a huge advantage in the fact that it's decentralized uh, and essentially you're relying on code you're relying on technology you're not relying on humans which are uh prone to error 
Now, I'm going to play you a clip of essentially where he thinks this space is going to go. He uh, refers to um, DeFi and the fact that it's at $60 billion right now, there, thereabouts. It would have sold off a little bit, so between $50 and $60 billion. And he thinks it's going to 10x by the end of the year. I just want you to think about what this is going to do for Chainlink, and not only that, what this is going to do for the entire space. He reckons that uh, DeFi as a, as a kind of sector of the cryptocurrency market is around about 2% of the overall uh, crypto market cap. So if DeFi goes up to 600 billion, the overall market cap is going to be astronomical, given that it all grows in proportion. However, you know, I, I, I think by the I think by the end of the year we could be anywhere from an eight to eleven billion dollar in terms of market cap. So the price of uh, Chainlink we know, of course, is selling off. The entire market is selling off. Bitcoin is selling off. Lot of lots of calls for this um, kind of fifty three, uh, sorry, forty three thousand dollar range. We will see. But regardless, guys, if you believe in the fundamentals of these projects, and there are a million and one reasons to believe in Chainlink then you know you really have nothing to fear in my opinion anything that happens on the short term is really just noise and is going to be irrelevant um on a sort of longer term time frame uh pullbacks are part and parcel of this market uh, i highlight it to you on every single video the reason i do that is because there might be some new people out there who are unfamiliar with what's happening this is 2017 we all know how that played out and these squares that i've highlighted are all the pullbacks sometimes as harsh as 33 percent bitcoin has not solved off 33 percent yet so we are still within our kind of prior pullback range and there is no reason or no cause for concern in my opinion you are in a bull market and we are going to continue to grow in terms of value as a result of that cryptocurrencies and certainly blockchain technology is the new thing it adds value to everything and thus is going to uh, accrue a, uh, a a higher value in terms of price so without further ado guys let's listen to sergey talk about the DeFi space growing and then let's just kind of wrap things up after this clip look at it as a superior alternative to centralized finance with its only limitation being that the value that it secures needs to be in this blockchain cryptocurrency format so with $2.2 trillion in the cryptocurrency format and only 60 billion of that value in DeFi, that's about two, two and a half percent of the value that can be placed into, into these financial products. So there's much, much further to go. Even going to 600 billion is, is something that I think is, is a pretty clear next step. Beyond that, uh, I actually think that people will end up putting value into the crypto format, not so that they have the crypto format, but so that they can use DeFi. Because if you go to a bank today, you'll get 1% or below interest, whereas at DeFi, you can get 8% interest or 7% mm -hmm. interest on that same dollar with less risk and more transparency about what's happening with your holdings for which the only limiting factor is that people know about that. And by virtue of you know us discussing it here and elsewhere, yeah. they're learning about it. So there you have it, guys. That was Sergey talking about the DeFi sector and how he believes it's going to grow to uh, $600 billion. He reckons that is actually largely um, undervaluing it in terms of a longer time frame, but certainly this year he thinks that could be on the table. Given the fact that Chainlink is essentially the reason that all these um, sort of protocols and applications can actually work, uh, because it is essentially that um, decentralized price feed or, or, or data feed onto these platforms that allow them to execute and perform and, and, and kind of finalize the smart contracts. Um, you know, what is Chainlink's price going to do as a result of that? We, before all this, before Chainlink uh, 2.0 was even really on the horizon, have said that we have high hopes for Chainlink and Chainlink's fundamentals just continue to grow day by day, essentially. And even though the entire market is selling off, the only thing that Chainlink is going down in is price. It's not going down in terms of its actual value, its real value. It is still exceptionally valuable. And as the DeFi space grows, Chainlink is indeed going to grow as well. Um, it's just kind of, there's an inevitability with Chainlink as that, and that essentially is as DeFi grows, Chainlink will grow with it uh, in terms of price. Um, and, you know, he, he also kind of highlights the fact that the traditional financial world will give you sort of 1%. DeFi, you can earn up to 8%. It's a no-brainer. You know, it's like asking somebody to choose between a good or a bad deal. 
most people, if properly informed, are going to go with a good deal. And remember, the crypto space for a lot of people is still very scary, still uh, a lot of unknown, the same way no one really understood the internet where it first came out and certainly how to use it. But over time, the way that the internet is now normalized, uh, cryptocurrencies are indeed going to become normalized and integrated and used more and more frequently so the entire space has a long way to go and of course a coin is uh, uh, as fundamentally useful as Chainlink is going to appreciate significantly as a result of that these sell-offs that we're seeing guys we showed you that kind of w structure that seems to keep forming we essentially think a similar thing is going to happen and where we could uh, dip down to is really anybody's guess but ultimately um, you know ask yourself the question do you link do you think Chainlink is going to be at a higher value by the end of the year? In my opinion is absolutely yes. So based on that, I am personally, um, you know, uh, it, it, it's still a good investment in my own opinion. And of course, this is not financial advice and nothing I say or do on this video is financial advice. This is all just my opinion. These videos are here for entertainment and educational purposes. And that is all they are for guys. So I think you have nothing to worry about. I think you have very exciting things coming. If you wanna go and read the uh, white paper, which I suggest it's not, just ignore some of the technical aspects of it. Um, we are supposed to be getting staking for Chainlink. I think that is also going to increase the uh, kind of rate that it is huddled and accumulated and, and the kind of demand for it. So ultimately, guys, what I'm going to say, and I'm going to wrap this video up now, is that you have nothing to worry about. I am exceptionally bullish on Chainlink, and I think there is absolutely valid reasons to be so. That is all I have for you in this video, guys. I'm going to love and leave you. I hope you have enjoyed this content. If you have, a like is always appreciated. Comments are more than welcome. I want to know your feedback, guys. I do these videos for you at the end of the day, and I want to know whether you enjoy them or you don't. Be honest with me. Um, and that is all I have for you in this video, guys. Get subscribed to one of the fastest and realest growing YouTube channels out there, and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.